You are likely familiar with Terraform for creating cloud infrastructure, as well as our other machine learning tools, DVC and CML. Our new open source tool on GitHub, Terraform Provider Iterative, or TPI for short, has the goal of bringing the cloud closer to data scientists and ML engineers. We do this by lowering costs with spot instances while handling terminations transparently. Providing a unified abstraction so it doesn't matter whose cloud you use, an automatic cleanup of expensive compute resources so as soon as your task finishes, you only have to pay for what you used. It's easy to get started using the example script in the repositories readme. Our Terraform file describes the compute instance that we want to use, our working directory, and where to download the script's results when it's complete. The script portion tells TPI how to run the training task. Our example is crafted to save intermediate training data to disk. This is important when training on spot instances. Getting started, we run Terraform init. Then we add the tflog provider environment variable as info. This enables us to get useful log information about what our task is doing. Running Terraform apply puts things into action. For our demo, I'm using AWS, and I'll show you what's going on with the web console. But it's not required, and when using TPI, you won't actually need it. Taking a look, we can see that our instance has been created. At the command line, we can see the same thing by running Terraform refresh. Since machine learning is often expensive in nature, TPI was built with spot instances in mind. And since our workload was built to save its progress, we can take full advantage of these cost savings. But what happens if we lose our spot instance? We can see how TPI handled this by running Terraform refresh again. In the logs, we can see that our last training epic was 31, and TPI has queued up a new spot instance. Taking a look at the web console again, we can see that we've won the bidding for a new instance. And now TPI will reconfigure it and resume our task. We can take a look at that with a Terraform refresh. We can see our status is running and training has resumed on Epic 31. Now I can go on my coffee break. The disconnected nature of using Terraform means that I can close my computer and training will still happen. This lets me run to Starbucks, but we should check back in. Taking another look at AWS, we see our instance is shutting down, which means that our task is done, and TPI is making sure those expensive GPUs aren't left on. At the command line, we can see this with a final Terraform refresh, showing the status of completed successfully. And now, we can download our completed results back to our machine by running Terraform destroy. This will copy the working directory from the cloud instance into our output folder on our computer, which we defined in our Terraform file at the beginning. In our case, this results folder containing a text file we used to simulate the training data. Thank you for watching this quick demo.